Hello again, good friends. Welcome, new subscribers. I'm Brian from Apex Detail. I've had a lot of requests to take a look at a product, um, the Grios Garage Surface Wash and also the Polygloss. Um, they both were released not too long ago, so there's been a lot of requests to get this out and, and take a look at it on the channel. Now, the Polygloss I really don't have a use for. I can't use anything with gloss enhancers. Uh, I'm bringing things in to do corrections um, and some restorations and I need the panels cleared and cleaned. However, this here will um, gently take care of uh, maintenance for coatings or waxes or sealants. So this is a great product that I've really been looking forward to take a look at. It's pH neutral, it's gentle, it will encapsulate and lift the dirt so we can rinse it off, the, the grit and then continue on with the contact wash. It has uh, claims a dual layer system. Let's just get right out to the shop. I have a car waiting, a treat for you, and we'll put this to use and we'll give it a bit of a test. Grios Garage Foaming Surface Wash. You can get it in the 32 ounces like I have it here. You can also grab a gallon of it. 32 ounces, $19.99. A gallon of it, 50 bucks. Guys, that's really borderline crazy there this stuff better do one heck of a job for that price when you can get a gallon of a lot of snow foams that will do the same thing for around 20 bucks and you guys know if you've been following my videos I do use a pre-wash a lot of detailers will skip that uh, it's a little bit more cost a little bit more time I value what it does for me removing grit especially on something like this this is a 37 Cadillac it's in storage and a lot of the storage facilities you know your car won't come out crazy dirty or muddy but it will have grit from the existing block or whatever material that the storage unit is made of sitting on the top of the car very very abrasive and that's where a product like this will come into great use All right, so first we'll demonstrate using a 2000 PSI um, Greenworks electric power washer, and we're gonna add two ounces of the surface wash into the foam lance container. Very thin, very similar to skim milk. There's nothing wrong with it. It's supposed to be that way. It's not a real thick concentrate uh, like molasses. pH balance to retain existing waxes, sealants. It's easy on coatings. It rids the surface of abrasive particles uh, such as this vehicle has on it from storage. Helps prevent um, wash induced scratches, scuffs and swirls. Um, it claims to have a dual layer foam system um, and that is intended to extend the dwell time and enhance cleaning action. Now the back of the container on the label will give you mixing ratios for the boss system and that includes their foam cannon, their foaming sprayer, their pump up sprayer and also their sudsing gun. Uh, these are the ratios um, that work in just a regular foam cannon. We're going to use it in the IK foam line foamer. We're all also going to use it in an MTM PF22 and we'll hook that up to a 3100 PSI gas powered pressure washer. In a dual layer system, your first layer, tight celled bubbles uh, will cling to the surface while the outer layer with larger cell will run down and start running off the car. This is what it looks like after 12 minutes. Uh, I waited a little bit longer than I usually do. It's really hot and it's starting to dry in sections. No worries whatsoever, pH neutral. Grab your rinse, whatever you're gonna use, a hose or a power washer, make it wet, it'll reactivate, then you can successfully rinse from there. All right, so let's get to the car. This is an absolute no-no, using a power washer on a car like this, and that's especially if you don't know the vehicle, if it's a new customer. I know what I'm dealing with here. I could use this as a demonstration. 
This car is here for restoration. The inside's done, and so are the seals and the rubber grommets, and so on. Gentle rinsing, um, even if you want to do a contact wash, it's probably better to use a waterless wash, a rinseless wash. If you have to do hands um, contact wash, use a hose, take the tip off of it, and just gently rinse it with free-flowing water. Stay away from the seals and the windows if you don't know what you're dealing with. This one here, it's sealed actually better than my car, so we're good to go. I just back off a couple feet with the pressure washer and that brings down the, uh, the pressure uh, where it makes contact to the vehicle. All right, let's break out the IK Foam 9 foamer. We're gonna add another two ounces to that. I have two gallons of warm water in there. For those of you with no water hookups or electric where you take care or maintain your car out in the parking lot of maybe an apartment complex, I'll put a link down below for this IK Foam 9 foamer. Very useful if you're in that situation. We'll get into more detail and uh, we'll get some more information and history. Uh, this vehicle has long-standing history and tradition. We're going to be doing a paint correction and restoration and we'll do some protection on it as well. So it's going to be here for a while. And it's not until we pull the car out into direct sunlight we'll, where you'll be able to really enjoy the, the color and the, as the aspects and, and the depth of the color on this. We'll do that. Um, we're going to have some more videos on it. All right, so finally, we'll test it out in the MTM PF22, hook it up to a gas-powered pressure washer. So this is what it will do and how it will react to 3,100 PSI or higher. Once again, if you come across something like this, somebody asked you to, to maintain it or detail it, I wouldn't even foam it like this. I would just use a rinseless wash, clean it up, because you really don't know how watertight it is until you get to know the car. Um, so I would stay away from pressurized units. Uh, but I wanted to use this for a demonstration for a little bit of eye candy for you guys to enjoy, uh, bring you along uh, the ride as we restore the paint on this. All right, so here we have the first few seconds after it's laid down, it's just starting to dwell. I'm gonna leave this on here again for another 10 minutes before I rinse it. Okay, 10 minutes is up three, four, maybe five if you're lucky, if you're out in direct sunlight, and it's time to rinse thoroughly. Okay, it's done exactly what I use them for. Uh, I just use them for removing a little bit of grittiness to cut back on the chances of swirling and marring. I know some of these foamers claim to do a lot more. They really don't do much more than helping to remove some grit.
for some final thoughts on the Grios Garage foaming surface wash. A pleasure to work with. Uh, decent scent, smells like pina coladas, thick foam, lifts, encapsulates the grit so you can safely remove it from the surface before starting your contact wash. I, however, cannot recommend it at $20 for 32 ounces when I can get a product that does the same thing. An example, Built Hammer, a gallon for nearly the same price. So, if you have any questions on the product, don't hesitate. I will put a link down below if you want to get some more information or look into it further. And let me know in the comments section if you do want me to test and review the Polygloss. Also released at about the same time as the Surface Wash from Griot's Garage. Until then, you guys have a great day. See you in the next video.